Hey guys, it's April 20th, 2020. If the video looks kind of funny, it's because I forgot to charge my GoPro battery uh, last night whenever I was transferring my clips and uh, the battery's dead. So I'm gonna try filming this off my phone and merge everything together. So I hope it looks right whenever I get it uploaded. But <clears throat> I found a few quart type medicines a while ago. Uh, really wasn't worried about showing you that because I, I found several before. But I just popped this out of the ground. And I have found some broken ones before, but this is the first whole one. That's a Dr. W.B. Caldwell's syrup peps. And it, do, it doesn't say it on there. It's got Monticello, Illinois. But I've checked that seam line. And it goes all the way to the top. So I'm going to assume 1920s. Mine's got kind of a little green tint to it. But I'm going to do some research and age that thing. But you can you can bet it's no, uh, it's no later than the 1920s. So, man, I'm pretty pumped up about that. Anyway, y'all just stay tuned, and I pray that these uh these clips with this phone, whenever I put them together, they'll look good. So y'all stay with us, guys. Here's another one I just raked out, and that is a J.R. Watkins court type. And uh, let's see, same line goes all the way to the top on that one too. Let's see what it says on the bottom. It says container made in the USA, but that's gonna be at least from the 20s too. That's pretty cool though. Nice J.R. Watkins. All right, y'all stay with us. Guys, I think I just found a whole Coke bottle. Let me get my little old rake. And I'll get down in here. See if I can get it out. It is whole. All right, you see it right there? I don't even see a crack on it. Let's see. That's a 1915. Oh man, that's a greenwood. Sweet. That's another 1915 I don't have. Greenwood, Mississippi. And I'm tickled. I don't know if you can see this. You see right there, it says November 16th, 1915, right there. Day maker right there, boys. Woof. All right, well, y'all stay with us. I'm, I'm finna have to go, but maybe I'll find something else before I do. Y'all, I think I just raked out another hole. I don't know what the town is. See it right there, let's pull it and see. God, it is. That's another 1915, and that's a clear one. It's got a heel bruise right there. Man, that is a West Point one. I've got a West Point, but it's not... Y'all really can't tell it, probably, but, man, that thing is just clear as a bell. Lord, I'm tickled. Mmm. Man, I done got in a little pocket right there. Whew, y'all stay with me. Y'all, I'm sorry about this camera. Just ain't the same. This, can uh, this phone's just not the same as a GoPro, but stay with us. My GoPro picked a bad day to have a bad battery. I just made two. As soon as I sat that one down, I made two swipe, uh, swipes with my uh, rake, and this popped out. Please be a Christmas Coke. Guys, it is. That is a Christmas Coke. Please be Ackerman. Oh my gosh, it's an Ackerman one. <laughs> oh my lord. Whew. Ackerman, Mississippi. December 25th, 1923. Man, I'm tickled. Let me, let me see if I can show y'all that date one more time. And it's just faintly embossed. It's not real heavy embossed, but I can, you can read it. It says December 25th, 1923. That's good old Akron, Mississippi. Lord and mercy. Y'all, this is awesome. Ooh, so great. All right. I'm gonna tell you, I don't wanna leave now. Um, Y'all stay with me. I might rate just a couple more times and I'm gonna have to go. Guys, that's all I got time for today, but Lord and mercy, what a blessed.
blessed, blessed, blessed day. Man, that's probably, I've never found three back to back in one day good like that before. Oh, I'm so tickled, and, and man, I got a, I got a 19, I got two 1915s, but I have the West Point, but this one's in better shape, and it's clear. And then I got a clear Christmas coat from Ackerman. I don't have that one. And then I got a 1915 Greenwood. And all three of them are just about in perfect condition. Lord. That's why I come out here and do this. Um, like I said, it's a bunch of work doing it. But, uh, man, it's a rush. It's a rush. So, anyway, I'm just saving history one bottle at a time. But, anyway, I'll be back to get some more clips. And I might continue to use this phone just so the video looks right. I'm just going to have to see what I got to do. So, uh, anyway, y'all stay with us. Hey guys, it's uh, April 21st, 2020. Got my GoPro today. And boy, I hope these clips, they, they merge in like they're supposed to. But anyway, back at the dump this morning, and it probably looks kind of dark out here, but I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be a beautiful day. That sun's popping out. The only bad thing is, I think those turkeys uh, are just about done. They, uh, they ain't acting right at all. So anyway, um, I was digging right here. Now, I've already pulled this out. I hadn't looked at it. I thought it was broke. It was stuck up in the side. Just pulled this one out. And I don't see any cracks or anything. That's probably going to be a 1915 if I had to guess. And it is. That's a November 16, 1915. And let's see what it is. I believe that says good old Ackerman. Ooh, tickled, tickled. Lord of mercy. And look, this one... This one doesn't look like it has much case wear at all. Might have a little bit. You know, that very first one I pulled out of here, it was in pristine condition. Uh, no case wear. And when I say case wear, up here on the Coca-Cola part, um, it's not wore down, doesn't have that look to it. That Christmas Coke I found yesterday was in, was in real good shape, but it had a little case wear right here. I think I can take some baby oil, and I'm going to keep it, so take some baby oil and rub on there to make it shine a little bit but that's a good one to find first thing in the morning ladies and gentlemen oh i'm tickled tickle tickle so anyway y'all stay tuned and, and and like i said right here in this little spot right here there's a bunch of them bunched up so hopefully there's some more so y'all stay with us guys i uh i pulled out what i thought was just an old condiment jar i ain't got a clue how old that atlas is right there you can rest sure that's an old one right there. That's a small one. It says Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. It's like it's got a number four on the bottom of it. That's the first whole mason jar I found in here. And I hadn't told you, I found a ton of, uh, of broken blue ones. That thing's got a little flesh crack right there, but it's on the back side, so that don't matter. We're gonna take that with us, so Lord, that's a good one. Stuck right in there. And it's really amazing, cause I'm gonna tell you, and you probably, you see that right there? There's a ton of bricks in this old dump, so just the fact that I found what I have so far, it's pretty amazing, so. Anyway, y'all stay with us, and uh, hopefully we'll pull out uh, a soda bottle that we don't have yet. I wish I'd have cut the camera on whenever I picked this up. Now, this is a screw top. This is pretty cool. It says uh, Everett and Barron Company Product, Providence, Rhode Island, USA. I ain't got a clue what that was, but that's pretty cool. Old holes producing. Y'all stay with us. I was raking the top of this bank right up here where I got this dug, and that right there fell out. I hadn't picked it up yet. Oh, man. It's another Dr. W.B. Caldwell's. My buddy Brady will be tickled. Because I can give this one to him. Monticello, Illinois. So I found two broken ones before, and now I found two whole ones two days in a row. It's a good find. Y'all stay with us. Guys, I just raked that down. I'm sitting on my butt in this hole. And that's got a patent date of 1893, and it's going to be every bit of it. That insulator is in perfect condition. It has no chips, cracks, nothing whatsoever. And that is a awesome, awesome, awesome find. 
you know, and generally the smaller they are, the older they are. So, so you can rest sure that one's that one that more than likely is from the 1890s right there. It does have Hemingway on it, so it might be a little bit newer. I think they changed the name. I've got a a little bit bigger one that says uh like JTS Company or something, something like that. And and I know it's from the 1890s, but this one might be a little bit newer. But close to 100 years old anyway, without even looking. So, man, that's a good find. Y'all stay with us. Guys, there's a pretty cool one I just raked out. <clears throat> that's soda water, but that was bottled by the Cher by, by Chero Cola. And you can see right here, it is out of Columbus. Columbus, Mississippi. Man, it's got that Art Deco stuff on it. Kind of like a, kind of like little pyramid sticking up. I wish that would have been whole though. But anyway, I got just a little more time, so y'all stay with us. Guys, I ain't shown you all these just because we found them before and I popped some out in the last video. There's a quart type medicine that just fell out. I found this one a while ago. Uh, this slick cork top popped out a while ago. I found that slick cork top right there a little while ago. That little bit of Lysol. And I think that's it. And of course, I found the bottoms of some uh, broken Ackerman ones. And if I could pop a whole soda water or orange crush or maybe another Big Chief out, boy, I'd be tickled. Y'all stay with us. Guys, this fell out and I didn't even realize it. That's an old ink well, ink bottle. It's got a crude number eight right there on the bottom. I don't know. Uh, the seam line goes all the way to the top, but man, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take that with us. Y'all stay with us. Well, sometimes when you're raking, you just need to stop and look around you. I don't know what that is. That is a glass stopper that goes in the top of one of those cork tops kind of show you and this probably ain't the one but see it fits down fits down in there like that and of course this one's too big but that's what that is that's pretty cool well guys that's all i got time for today man i done got hot hot this morning order mercy hey but i found some good bottles just give you a quick little recap found that dr wb kyle wells syrup pepsin and a 1915 Ackerman, Mississippi Coke. And that one is in pretty good shape. Got some damage around the heel right there where it's kind of white. You can see it. Got a little case wear. Found this old, old Atlas Strong shoulder mason jar. Found that nice insulator right there. And we found this screw top at Everett and Barry and Company. And then I found, uh, found a pretty good mini. I say a pretty good many. Found three at broken Ackerman bottles right there. Then found an ink well, and I went over some of those other medicines that I found and some old slicks. So. But I about done got in a pickle. I have about went up under that uh, bank as far as I can without risking safety. So probably my next uh, my next thing I'm going to do is bring my chainsaw and start slowly cutting some of this stuff out of the way. And make it all the way up to there. And like I said, it's going to take some time and some work. But uh, it's going to be worth it in the long run. Because, man, I have found some jewels. I don't know if I told you. Some of those Ackerman bottles, I don't know. They're, uh, I could get a little money for them. Probably ain't going to sell any of them. But, uh, because they're special to me. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, we'll probably be back at the dump tomorrow. I don't think I have enough clips um, to make a whole video. Or, or a good length one so uh anyway y'all stay with us and uh we'll be back hey guys it's april 23rd 2020 i'm uh back out at, at the dump this morning just for a little while anyway i was raking don't have long at all i was raking and uh i'm pretty sure that's another dr wb kyle wells right there raked and it fell down and that's exactly what it is and that's just like the other two we found W.B. Cowell's Monticello, Illinois. So anyway, whew, I'm breathing hard because I'm going pretty fast because I don't have too long. But hey, we found a keeper already, so y'all stay with us. 
guys i wish i was getting a bunch of these on uh <clears throat> camera as i'm raking them and pulling that pulling them out but sometimes when you're hitting in that bank they'll just fall down now i glanced at this one this is something we hadn't found this court type it says Battler snow liniment company st louis missouri see it right there and i'm gonna guess that's probably guess what it's gonna be pretty old because the seam line stops unless i'm looking at it wrong y'all hold on just a second guys the seam line stops on the neck right there where my finger is so that's pretty old it's gonna be from the teens awesome 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 fine oh i'm tickled okay that's one we don't have ballard snow liniment company st louis missouri so anyway we're in a pretty good little pocket there y'all stay with us i hope this ain't a ketchup and i don't think it is okay i'm just glanced at it. that's crown top sticking out right here oh can y'all see my hand see the hole right there and it feels whole guys I finally did it that's a whole soda water all right let's just pray it's from ackerman which i'm gonna be honest with you whatever town it's from i'm gonna i'm gonna be okay well and i knew it it's from west point man what a find though see the stars see the star right there and then it says uh it says soda water cocoa property of coca-cola bottling company i tell you what even though that's not ackerman i'm gonna take it all day long gosh that's a good find starting out to come this morning man i'm glad i did Whew. that's a good one guys i'm gonna get that one cleaned up and uh this is a clear one got a little green tint to it but that's clear for the most part but man it has turned out to be another good morning in the dump so y'all stay with us i was raking this dirt back out and you probably can't see this there's old cork top right there that fell down and that's gonna be a slick probably if i had to guess i'm not gonna take the time to look the same line probably 1920s and it's in good shape stay with us well, guys i've run out of time this morning and i'm gonna tell you i wasn't here long but before i ran out of time i got in there and i found these two little slick cork tops i don't imagine there's any age to them i say any age they probably from uh the 20s if i had to guess but uh man i tell you you know i was afraid there wasn't any whole so whole sodas in this place and i'm gonna get this video uploaded tonight but let me see in the last three days i found um an ackerman christmas coke a 1915 west point a 1915 greenwood a 1915 ackerman and that West Point soda water that's probably from the late 20s, I would guess. And it's holding. It looks to be in pristine condition. I've uh, I found a slew of cork tops. You can see those right there. Found several more broken ones. Found some cork type medicines. I found three of these uh, Dr. W. B. Caldwell medicine uh, bottles. And then I found this. Uh, Ballard Snow Liniment Company from St. Louis, Missouri. It's from the teens. It was blown in a mold. So I don't know how much lucky you, how much lucky or more blessed you can get <clears throat> for three days worth of digging. But it just goes back to doing your research and getting down in here and uh and putting the work in and finding that stuff. So anyway, man, I'm excited. There's there's got to be a ton more. And like I said, I got my work cut out for me because I got to cut all that stuff out of the way. And I really got up in that bank a little too far than, far, further than what I should have. But yeah, I'm going to get this cut out of the way. And like I said, it'll take a little work. But uh, we're going to get in there and get it done. Because 
that's how you find stuff like that. That's pretty. Got those stars and those soda waters. But anyway, I'm going to get this one uploaded tonight. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's probably probably the uh, the best video I've had for finds, you know, in a short period of time. So anyway, y'all stay with us. Like our videos and uh, go subscribe to the Jones Boys.